I stand on behalf of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International to thank my Lords Justices of the Superior Court, family, and distinguished friends who have shared with us tonight in this solemn time of a night of tributes and shared in our grief. A huge tree has fallen and shaken the plains of the judiciary of Ghana, our full gospel businessmen's fellowship international, and indeed the nation Ghana. The night has been to celebrate your life and the measure of its worth in the eyes of many and to praise God for every single life you have touched while you were here on earth. It has been to pay our last respects and to thank you, my Lord Justice Marfusal, for your friendship and all the memories we hold dear. It has been a privilege to have known you. We were family, not just friends, brothers in our layman's fellowship, mandated to reach men in all nations for Jesus Christ and to call men back to God. A mandate which you executed with passion and distinction. And we will carry you in spirit until we meet once again. Now it's time for you to go home. Your friendship was a blessing. We shared so much together. You brightened up our days. You brought much happiness with your kind and loving ways and great sense of humor we will forever miss. You lifted up our hearts when we hit the crossroads, no matter what the challenge, you knew just what to do. A true friend is never truly gone. Their spirit lives on in the memories of those who love them. When friendship leaves us through death, we feel cheated in life. Life doesn't play fair. Our hearts still ache with sadness and many tears still flow. What it means to lose you, no one will ever know. We hold you close within our hearts and there you will remain forever. To walk with us throughout our lives until we meet again. Good night, my brother. Good night, my Lord Justice Samuel Marfo Sal. Sleep well. Sleep well, my brother. about him was for God, family, country, and others. So we thank God that he showed us how to love God and how to love man. We thank God for that. We know he's resting in peace. There's nothing else that could be. He loved God and so he's with God and that we know. We thank God for his life.
My name is Yao Nyami Jacobo. I'm the national PR of the Ghana Bar Association. Um, Justice Mafosan served as a resource person in countless continuing legal education programs and conferences organized by the Ghana Bar Association. He was always willing to help us and responded to all of our invitations. The last being during the Bench Bar Faculty Conference, which was organized in April 2021. He served as a resource person in respect of witness statements. On a personal note, I was privileged to work with him in 2000. He's always been like a big brother to me. He was a mentor, he counseled me. Over the years, he's been so generous to myself and my family. Um, I've been inconsolable since he passed. He's such a gentle person, kind, loving. I pray that the good Lord will grant him eternal rest. I pray for his family, children and grandchildren, and Accra Ray Church, and I pray that God will comfort all of us. Um, the bow wishes him well. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. My name is Jesus Abuaji Tando, the High Court. We are mourning because of the death of His Lordship Justice Mafasan, the Justice of the Supreme Court. We are saddened because he was the very person who brought some of us to full gospel to strengthen our faith in Jesus Christ. When you listen to the life history of Justice Mafu Sound, you will certainly find a place and a place of hope and a trust in what Christ can do in the lives of humanity. Some of us, he was our mentor, he was our friend, he was our brother, he was a judge, and he showed him humanity kindness and served the Lord with all his heart and all his mind. We are here, and for that matter, even a member of the Food Gospel, because of him. I remember when I met him the first time, not knowing him very well, even though I was a magistrate then, he spoke to me about Jesus Christ. And I asked myself, do we have judges who, who believe in God? I thought judges did not know God. But it turned out that judges like himself were men of God people who trusted and believed in God. And this transcended on to some of us to strengthen our, our, our faith in Jesus Christ. It's our favorite hope, faith that to rise again. And in the name of Jesus, we trust that we will see him. May his soul rest in peace. Perfect peace. Amen. My name is Tony Intiado, uh, the managing director for TGTS Africa and also representing TGTS Africa and EOH. We are the company that developed the e-justice system and very instrumental to that project is our late judge. We have been hit so much, we have been struck and been influenced so much. For, for us, a week to the 28th of July, we were with him. I personally sat with him, sat in his office. We had a very much deliberate conversations about how to move the project forward. And then on the 21st, we had a meeting. And after the meeting together was the last day we ever interacted. We have been so much affected. If there's anybody who provided hope for the judiciary's e-justice projects and providing us leadership and comfort, it was my late judge. We have been in we have been so much affected by the loss, but we are hopeful one day, knowing him and knowing the principle he stood for, we'll be with him under Abraham's and the lost bosom. Thank you. We wish the family safety. Justice morning, 
as I was getting ready to come back. My wife reminded me that that is just a small person who prayed for you for your headache to go. And I, I remember some time ago, I wasn't too well. And he just said, oh, let's pray. And after praying, straight, the headache just vanished. So uh, we go along, we have served with him on committees uh, for the Judicial Council. And uh, uh, he was a good man. That's uh, what I can briefly say. Even when uh, he had to chastise me for a letter that I wrote uh, regarding the e-justice system, he was still smiling. And uh, we all took it into faith because uh, I had made a certain proposal which didn't sit too happily with him. But uh, it's so sad that he lives at uh, 64 years. We pray that God keeps him. And, uh, we pray that uh, those that he has left behind will carry the torch that uh, he lit. I thank you very much. Justice Samuel Mafosan, as we know him and call him Justice always, a man of humility, a man of affable character. Justice joined the fellowship through the invitation of the late Reverend Robert Alif who invited him to a breakfast meeting at a London restaurant, responded to the call and came to London restaurant. He, at that time, responded to the altar call and gave his life to Jesus Christ. Justice never looked back. Having found the Lord, he offered himself to do anything and everything for the kingdom of God. Justice was ready to serve even people who were younger and of low standard than him. To him, a man purchased by the blood of Jesus is a man worthy of service. And a service to such, he said, is service to God. Justice Marfosal, sound within one year, became the secretary to the chapter. And then uh, right there and then, served with all his strength and with all his power. And uh, when the chapter thought of opening a new chapter at the, well, where we call the, the the Fiesta Royal Hotel. He was appointed to lead that team to open a new chapter. And uh, he willingly went, became the founding president of that chapter with Francis Owusu, who was then also a member of the Gateway chapter. And uh, they readily responded to the call to give them all their service, their money, their resources in opening a chapter that would be of that class of where people of their stature can join them in fellowship and belong to the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship as we win men and women for the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship and indeed the Christian Dom has lost a gem, has lost a brother, a very committed brother, willing to share his testimony anytime he is called upon. You can call justice at any time. To me, as the president of the chapter where he gave his life to Christ, he told me he was ready to support me when I was asked to take over that chapter. He said he was ready and that any time I want him and I'm calling and I'm not getting him on his phone, I should relay the message to his wife. And any time I did, he will respond and find out what he ought to do or what he's being called upon to do and help the work of the gospel. Most of the times he will come and share his testimony, but even his presence commanded many and law. And the Lord used him in many ways, not only in Accra, throughout the nation, readily sharing his testimony for others to come into the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Justice played his role as a child of God. 
what about you and me? We've been left here to continue the work that have been left in our hands. No, justice never felt too big to take any task for God. And so let us all offer ourselves and do the work of him who died for us and called us to do the work that he came into this world to offer his blood. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all and God bless you. I thank the Lord for the life of Jesus Marfus. Though you've gone too soon, but I know God's time is the best time. Jesus Marfus was a lovely brother, helpful. He, I, I don't know even the words that I would say, but he was so dedicated to the work of the Lord. And he knew his way. I remember one time I went to go for India when he was a judge there. And I was talking to somebody and he said that this judge is genuine, this judge is okay. And he was telling that if you have a case before this judge, rest. Because you get a good judgment. And in full gospel, he's been really very active. May God help him, the family, and everybody. And we say we thank God for his life. May you see rest in the bosom of Abraham till we meet again in the future. God bless you and thank you. The late Sam Mafusan was a strong full gospel member. He was the quintessential full gospel member. Uh, he was a model of impeccable behavior from start to finish. And he was a dear friend of mine. I related with him both at work in the judiciary and also as a gospel brother. And he was someone who was serious for the things of the Lord. He, every assignment given him, he performed with determination, with diligence, and with distinction which was widely admired by all. Uh, he took over from me as the national legal advisor of the full gospel. And, and we bonded and related very closely, discussing full gospel matters and discussing our work as judges of the judiciary. Uh, he was someone who inspired me, even after his elevation to the Supreme Court bench. He was always around, available to share his testimonies at full gospel meetings, and even occasionally preach in his church, the Red Church. We have lost a dear brother, a true believer, and we trust that the good Lord would even give rest to his gentle soul and take care of the spouse, the surviving spouse and their children. Amen. I first met Mr. Justice Mafusau about 20 years ago at the full gospel chapter called the Gateway Chapter. We became very close as we were both executive members of the chapter. A few years later, we went on to form the Westgate Chapter and Justice became the president of that chapter and I was his vice. We worked closely together and we formed such a bond of friendship whereby we were all close as families and various friends. Um, not too long ago, Justice had to leave the shores of Ghana to further his studies in petroleum law and I took over as president of the Westgate chapter and on his return, he continued to support us as a chapter with great dedication. And he was a man of honor, a man of integrity, a man of his word, a man whom you could call upon for advice at any time. And he showed real love. Um, it has pained me so much because uh, recently, my daughter enrolled at the Ghana Law School and in continuing friendship, I remember she came home one day and said, I met your friend 
um, Mr. Justice Mafu Sound, and he, he has loaned me his book, and I was so touched, and um, I knew that that this was the justice that we have we have not have known for years, because he's a man. He was a man who loved to, 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 to teach people about the rudiments of law and to help people in the profession of law. So it is with much sadness that um, I stand here today to commiserate with his dear wife Eva and the children and the great fellowship which he belonged to. Um, may his soul rest in peace and he's fought a good battle, he's finished this race and we shall be reunited one day under the bosom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Fare thee well, Justice. Fare thee well, true friend, my brother. My name is Bob Naini, uh, member of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. Uh, on behalf of the Greater Accra region, uh, I want to express my sincere condolences to the family of uh, Justice Samuel Mafosa, uh, a, a staunch, a dedicated, committed uh, member of our fellowship uh, who has, over the years, shown uh, his love for, for God and the things of God. I have known Justice for a maybe over a decade now uh, through the full gospel, uh, and every time I interacted with him, he, he gave me that that sense of a man who held, uh, to, who always confessed to the Lord and always put up for the work. There was never a time that justice uh, would say or promise and not deliver on that promise. A man of integrity, a man of high honor, and it is not a surprise that the president of the land saw it uh, right uh, to elevate him to the highest court of this land and for that reason we thank the Lord for his life. Justice has served the Lord sincerely and the Lord in his own wisdom at his own time has decided to take his son back to him and so we can only give thanks and praise and glory on to the name of the Lord for the time we had with him on earth and the work that he has done and the legacy that he has left for leaving those of us behind him. and so we thank the Lord for his life and we pray for his wife and his family but the Lord himself will continue to use them even as justice has passed on, that the legacy will continue from generation to generation. And for those of us who knew him in the full gospel, we will also try to emulate what he left with us. A sense of humility, a sense of trans uh, uh, integrity, a sense of truthfulness and righteousness. And so we thank God for that opportunity. And so may the soul of our dear brother rest in perfect peace. May the Lord keep him until the day he returns that the dead will rise again and we know that from glory to glory our brother will rest well thank you and god bless you